Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Alexi, and on my channel, I like to teach you all the things that I do in my life that help me live a happier and healthier lifestyle. So, with the new year upon us, I know a lot of us are creating fitness goals for ourselves, myself included. It doesn't matter how far in the fitness game you are, there's always goals and resolutions and things that we're trying to attain because we always want to reach this bigger, better version of ourselves. because let's face it, once we accomplish what we want, we want something more. For those of you who are looking to get into a healthier lifestyle, if you're looking for some guidance, guess what? You found me. I'm here to help you out. Today, I want to talk a little bit about food and what my tips are for you when you are getting started on your fitness journey and you want to start tracking your food, getting a better idea of diet and what you should do. some ground turkey right now and the reason why I'm on here right now telling you this is because I think a really key player and I think a really important thing that you need to make sure that you are doing if you're trying to like get in shape and work out is make sure that you are eating proper foods, proper foods for yourself. Make sure you're eating right. It helps when I feel really good and when I properly fuel my body with the right things and not the bad things. So diet is just really important. Again, no matter whether you're trying to lose weight or gain muscle or whatever it is that you're trying to do, diet is really, really important. A big tip that I can give to you if you're not someone who's ever really like tracked your food before or been really strict with your diet, I suggest that you do track your food. Don't change anything about your day-to-day -day life or how you want to eat or how you already are eating, but just track everything because you're going to get a really, really good idea as to where you are, what you're eating, the effects that it has, and you're going to be able to better understand how food affects you personally. Also think that tracking your food and like weighing your food out gives you a really really good idea of proper proportions and how much is enough in terms of calories and carbs and protein and all that stuff if you're gonna look that closely into it so if you really want to fine-tune your diet I suggest buying a food scale it's in inexpensive I mean I spent $20 on a food scale and had it for years I ended up buying a new one on Amazon they're relatively inexpensive I use it primarily just to make sure that I'm getting enough protein in but I think it's a really good tool when you're learning proportions and learning diet and how to track your diet I wonder if the steam from my food is on this lens I don't know because now that I've been tracking food for so long and I've waited out for so many years, I am really good at eyeballing things because I've done it for so long and I just kind of know. So it takes like all that stress out of it too. So I just think that getting a scale, weighing your food and just continually doing what you're doing, you're just going to get a better idea of your diet and how you can alter your diet to reach your own individual personal goals. So I am cooking this up right here. I used Pam in my pan <laughs> so that it does not stick. And then these are the seasonings that I use. I just use a little bit of Himalayan salt, black pepper here. Um, and then I also used cayenne pepper. And you know, what would it be if I didn't use my turmeric? Look, you can see 
Look, like, look how cool this is. Look how freaking cool this is. I love it. Thank you, Bobby. You're the best. I also have some green beans that I'm going to be cooking up. These are not my favorite green beans by far. I actually don't really like them, but it's what I have. It's what's in the freezer right now, so I'm cooking it up. These will be good for a couple meals afterwards, too, which is really cool. Um, and then... I have rice here that Bobby made the other day, so I'm just going to eat that. Yes, it is right. White rice. No, it does not matter. If you want to eat right, blah, 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 I can't talk. If you want to eat white rice, then eat white rice. There's nothing wrong with it. If you want to eat brown rice, eat brown rice. That's great. If you want to eat white potatoes over sweet potatoes, who cares? Eat whatever potato you want. Just get a good carb source in. Like, it, it, a sweet potato is not better for you than a regular potato like who cares just eat the potato eat the carb eat the nutritious food that has nutrients in it like it's not the end of the world my hand was in front of the camera throughout my entire rant but it's okay okay so right now I have about 5.5 ounces of the ground turkey I got a half a cup of white rice in there and green beans to my liking so the thing with me and like tracking my food and weighing it out is I always want to make sure that I'm getting at least four ounces of meat if I'm eating in a serving, which is not difficult for me, especially since I've come from eating six to seven ounces of meat in a sitting. But, you know, things change and I just don't eat that much anymore right now. Currently, uh, you can eat whatever you want. But I always just try to make sure that I get at least four ounces or, in my opinion, a serving of protein in a meal. So I just I think a really good rule of thumb is just make sure that in all your meals you figure out what your source of protein is and approximately how much protein that you are consuming in whatever meal that you're eating. If you're looking to, you know, gain muscle, lose fat, that whole ordeal I think it's really important to make sure that you're eating enough protein so I think that that is a really good starter point for you when you are looking more closely at your diet and how you can kind of alter your diet to help you increase your overall muscle and decrease your overall fat. <laughs> I think the take home point here is that I think it's really valuable for anyone to track their food. I think it's really valuable for you to track your food even if you've never tracked any kind of food before in your life. It gives you a really good idea as to where you are, what foods you're eating, portions of foods, the calorie content in that portion. It just overall gives you a greater knowledge of the food you're eating and how much you're eating and how much you eat on a day-to-day -day basis to maintain where you're currently at. And that sets you up with a really good idea as to how you can cut back in your diet to make the changes that you're looking to make. You know, if you really want to get your diet in check, I think the first and most important thing is to just start tracking how you eat right now. That way you can get a really good understanding as to how you already currently eat and how you can move forward. So another thing is I preach balance all the time, right? Right? I'm gonna preach some balance for you right now. So I got my healthy meal here, right? Got my healthy meal, but I am gonna put this on it because I love me some barbecue sauce. Balance, it's all about balance. This little bit of barbecue sauce is not gonna kill me. It's gonna make me enjoy my meal so much more and I, ju I just want it. I'm not going to restrict myself. I have no purpose in restricting myself right now. I'm all about finding a way to make this a lifestyle and to make it fit in your every day-to-day -day life. I like barbecue. I'm eating it in moderation. And that's that. Okay, so I made a couple points on my notepad that I do want to bring up and I do want to mention going into this new year if you are setting any kind of fitness or health or wellness goal for yourself. Um, so I think the most important thing is you just have to start. Just start doing it. Uh, you don't have to know everything and anything. I kind of felt that way about my YouTube channel too. Like I wanted to start it but I didn't feel like I knew everything that I wanted to know or needed to know in order to just start and do it and I was like you know what no I just need to go for it I just need to do it I'll learn along the way it's gonna be a process and that's okay but 
Same ordeal, especially with fitness. If you're just getting into it, just start doing something and just start creating those small habits and it will snowball into something bigger, I can guarantee you. I remember when I first started and I didn't feel like I knew what was good for me or what wasn't good for me or anything like that. But again, just start doing what you know, stick with what you know and educate yourself along the way. I think the best way to learn any of this is to just physically do it, put yourself through it, and again, find what works for you because this lifestyle is all about finding what works for you, for your lifestyle, for your body, for whatever makes you happy. That's what it's all about. So stay tuned for the month of January because all of my videos in the month of January are all going to be about tips on just how to start this lifestyle, how to make this change, and how to incorporate some of these healthy things that you can do in your day-to-day -day routine life. And like I always say, and how I've always said in the past too, is like find something that you know that you can make a habit and incorporate in your life and just do it over and over and over and over and over and it ultimately will probably snowball into more habits that you're doing and other healthier things that you are now able to include into your life because you just started, you just started by making that one change and just creating that one habit. I'll preach it a thousand and one billion trillion times. This is a lifestyle change. It is very specific to you and there is no right or wrong way to do a lot of this stuff. Like to live this lifestyle, there it's not always a clear yes or no right or wrong way. So just make sure you find what works for you and make sure that you're happy and you're enjoying your life along the way because that's all that matters. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something, gained something, and that you will be here next Monday for my next fit tip uh, for the new year of 2019. Also, let me know your resolutions. I have a bunch of resolutions and goals because that's just what I do for myself on a regular basis and the new year just gives me like all this extra motivation to create all these extra goals of all these things I want to accomplish. But Last year I came up with a motto and I forced myself to that motto and to live to that motto almost every single day like I said it to myself and I decided I want to continue the trend and do that again this year. Last year my motto was you do you. No one has any right to tell you how to live your life. I mean reasonably enough you know but I guess my whole point in that motto was just for myself to stop worrying about what other people think about me and to live my life for myself because I'm the only person living my life and no one really has any right to tell me how to live my life based off of their thoughts and their beliefs. So if you want to use that for your motto this year, then you totally should. This year's motto for 2019 is, as I've kind of been saying a lot, <laughs> even at the end of the year, is you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You're never going to change, you're never going to grow, and you're never going to get better at anything if you are always putting yourself in situations that you're comfortable in. Be uncomfortable because that's really where you're going to find all the opportunity and the growth. So yeah, on that note, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Happy Motivational Monday, y'all.